With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. New details are emerging today in the investigation into the February shooting death of 25-year-old Ahmaud Arbery. Today, we're learning a special prosecutor, a Cobb County District Attorney, has been appointed to the case. This comes as Georgia's Attorney General Chris Carr is asking the U.S. Department of Justice to step in. Meanwhile, we've been told by Amy Elrod, the fiance of the man who recorded the video of Arbery being shot, she and William Roddy Bryan have been living out of their car because they're afraid to go home to the Brunswick neighborhood where the shooting happened. Elrod says Bryan, their family members and neighbors have all received threats since the video surfaced. Georgia State Representative Al Williams will hold a press conference in relation to this case. That is set for noon tomorrow, and we'll be sure to bring you all the details from that. The city of Naples closed its beaches yesterday, one week after reopening them, because officials said visitors were not practicing social distancing and could have contributed to the spread of the coronavirus. Officials plan to discuss solutions today at a city council meeting. And a Jacksonville University legend, Dr. Francis Bartlett Kinney, has died at the age of 102. The former president of JU, Kinney dedicated 62 years of her life to serving the school, its students, and the Northeast Florida community. She began her career at the university in 1958 as a humanities professor and became the first female College of Fine Arts dean in the world in 1961. She was named president of JU in 1979, becoming the first female president of a Florida university. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.